we are, Big Town TV, following today's um, emphatic, I'm going to say emphatic, 6-2 win away to um, Answorth. Obviously, we've got Gaffer straight away. Brett, 6-2, mate. But what's your initial thoughts? I'm not happy, to be honest. You're not happy? No. What are you not happy with? Not just the performance, in general. Um, I thought we were creating enough chances to win 10 games. Um, and obviously, I, I back the lads and I back, I back them when they're, when they're not performing and I back them when they are performing. And it's just one of the ones where we've, this game should have been, I'm not kidding on about 11. 11. It'll play half time. Well, easy. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you, domin you dominated. So, so you're disappointed with the finishing or? Disappointed with the finishing, disappointed with the, 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 the defending at times. Um, because I mean, I say to the lads at half time, you've got to manage a game. They've, they've, they've got nothing in them at half time. They've been absolutely battered. And then you've got to manage your 10 minutes. Every team that's been beat at half time, they come out and they give their all. If you manage that 10 minutes, then that's the game finished. And we didn't. We let them straight back in and we were under pressure. And at times we were, we were hanging on for a bit. And that's just. That's just I not saw life. that in the second half where I'm sat there thinking, for all our dominance, yeah. they had that little bit where you actually could fall. I'm sat there thinking this could still go. Yeah, one, yeah, one or two ways. Like I say, I, I, I don't want to sound too, too down in the dumps, you know what I mean? Six two, yeah, we've, six got, we've, got, we've got the win uh, against um, a decent side on the day, but for me, that, that was a chance to go out and make a statement. If you, you, you hammer them 11, yeah, one, the one, league are looking, thinking, wow. People, people are thinking, oh, you've been week 4 1 Tuesday night, but you've bounced back into an, uh, an excellent win. So uh, it's just a bit. Just a bit sour, really, because uh, me and Labs were expecting a bit more from my lads. Um, but and what, what I've got to say as well, from, from a concerning view as well, you finished the game with um, Bullis and uh, Fraser at centre backs. Jenks has basically hopped all the way around the pitch. Yeah, must be worrying for you. That. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you see, they had um, a bone possibly go. So um, yeah, it's a bit worrying for Jenks. Obviously, it's worrying for the team, but it's worrying for Jenks because he's he's got working stuff like that. He's, he's got a family and stuff, so he don't want him being off work. But so, looking at the team as well, I know that, and I was a bit worried when you put them two together. But they actually finished the game really well. Yeah, so yeah. I, I mean, as we listen, Jack, these out for Jack, a few weeks. Jack, um, Jack never really done anything wrong. Uh, it was just we, we made a decision, and Fraser had a good game, and Leon had a good game, and that's just how it goes when you've got a strong squad. Um, but Jack's Jack's attitude's always been exceptional. Um, especially last season as well when he didn't get as much game time so for me Jackson just a steady Eddie he just comes back in and does, does the job just and as well as the others and I'm, I'm, I'm going to put something to you as well oh sorry, sorry Matt. Um, I'm going to put something to you as well that let's say Billy Logan I thought took his goals really well you think that's maybe because of the competition knowing that you signed a striker thinking no, my chances come no. I'm going to put, put them away yeah he took his goals because he's knowing well, there's someone knocking on the door now if I'm honest he should have scored another four yeah, four very good chances. They yeah, walked past me, I said, well played, and he wasn't happy. He no, wasn't happy. And I wouldn't be happy either. If I'm a striker there, obviously he's got four, but if I, as a striker, you, you want more from yourself. And I'd be kicking myself there, and I'd expect the manager to be kicking me as well, because he really he should have had about eight on his own. And Danny L should have had about four. Danny L was for all the time, wasn't he? Joey McFadden should have had another so, so, but listen, you can't be too downhearted. You don't you get, you don't be too high when you win and too low when you lose. So you just, um, I think going forward, we just need to work on things a bit more. Um, so, so we've done the maths. We've got five home games on the spin. You must be looking at that now, thinking, hey, I want 15 points to push. You want to be pushing, yeah? So we've got the five home games on the spin. Yeah. And you was on about momentum before the game. Yeah, yeah. I think you've got to look at it that way. I mean. It's never really as easy as that, but oh, you're the manager. For, for, for us, I think it's uh, yeah, it's not a goal for maximum points out of the games. Because I don't know how to be doing my interview saying "Ag you out, Ag you out" with my little sound saying "Ag you out." This yeah. is where we're going to get these points to um, because mm. of the looks of it, Yorkshire Hampshire are going to be well, um, Liverpool and all that. So you're going to have yeah. to be winning. Oh, that's fine. If you want the Ag you out, that's fine. Get some else to come in. Bomb says my hair. <laughs> No, but I, so, so what? What's now? We haven't got a game midweek. I don't think have we? No, no, no games. Then it's all, all Saturday, and then we've got Barton next week. Is that home away? Oh, yeah. Home, yeah. So that, that'll be another chance for us to go and express ourselves again, and hopefully the lads take a bit of frustration out of not scoring and take it into that game. They got a couple of training sessions with the new, um, the new lad as well, Nathan. 
yeah. so we can actually um, get him fitted in. I probably because I bet you found out you had him probably during the week. So he's, he's in there today. No, last twenty minutes. To be fair, that's what's done. Nathan stand up today. So um, a couple of sessions with him this week. We didn't think the seven days was going to go through, and then Joe told me it did go through, and then uh, so Nathan straight in the squad. Listen, it. It's, it's frustrating because obviously Chrissy Adams is waiting there and, and, Joe, and Tom Wobby and that's on the bench and waiting and stuff and there's, there's people left out and obviously he's, Nathan's just going Will Wobby, Matt Broadley, you've got a massive squad haven't you? Well, well, well Wobby's went to join uh, Beverly, he's, he's not with us anymore and Stocky's uh, gone to join Scully's to get some, some game times and Broads, Broads is working on Saturdays at the moment so, um, so it's maybe good we've got this big squad then and, and maybe having people coming in it's good to have a big squad, yeah, because of the injuries and the suspensions, but it's also a headache for myself and Lamps and Bows. So, no, listen, I might sound like a, a grumpy old man. You are a grumpy old man, it, uh, but you've got to, you, it's all you've got to realise um, what we what we should have had today, and it's a bit just a bit disappointing, but. Obviously, the lads put everything in. They don't, they don't go out there and not do it. Um, but I'm just a bit frustrated that the chance that we could have had and we went out and made a statement in, that, in, in the league. So we, we just go forward. See, that's it, done. Done and dusted. I like See if there's anything you're winning or lose. Come in the season, it was good. as a, a win and the three points to hook. Yeah, of course, yeah. Is. Yeah, that's it. It's, the main thing is the three points, of course. But um, I also like to. Hey Joe, 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 we've got, we've got coach here, Joe, just come in mate, Bridgetown TV. I'm done here. Hey, that's me about your hair, sir. Honestly, it's nice to get you in, obviously Joe joined us in the summer as coach. Um, what, what do you think about today, sir? Uh, I think it's quite disappointing, to be honest. To not be winning the game probably 15-1 or whatever, and to concede a goal uh, or two. But I think we, just, we should be better than that. Yeah, taking them chances. Taking them chances. I look at, obviously, he used to be a striker, I was more of a defender, so I look at the defensive side. And as a unit, I don't feel like we've defended great as a team. I mean, obviously, he's disappointed as well with the other chances that we missed. So it's just, Man, Jake's it's coming off and off and all that as well. It's, um, yeah, I think he's struggling. Yeah, he didn't, didn't look good, he didn't look good, did he? Yeah. Well, like I say, boys, obviously, it'll go down in the W car. I think it was important you responded after Yorkshire. I'm the 4 1, so back to winning ways. Like I said, the five games at home, that yeah. must be focus. Let's get going up here. Well, uh, yeah, we, we always back ourselves at home and really we should, we should that's where the team should be coming and thinking that, you know, but again, you know what I mean? So, we uh, we need to bounce, that's like I said at the start of the game, we need to bounce, bounce and, and get maybe five or six momentum things and uh, wins on the road, uh, in a row, so... Yeah, just like that, uh, that disappointed but I can, You know, I can see it in your birth, I can see it in your birth, that disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you should have made a statement when you have that many chances. You literally could have been coming in at half time, and I don't mean to sound disrespectful. No, that could have been. It could have been ten one. Yeah. yeah. Then at the end of the game, you look at the chances that we've actually missed, and they're not like oh, he's created that for himself. They clear the chances. He should be putting away. But in and around. Well, I remember Billy there going one way. Was underneath the crossbar. He goes over the crossbar. You know, Daniel, like you say, he was through how many times? Also, I think that's a mentality thing as well, because I think they've maybe thought it was a bit too easy, and then because I think just like a tap in, but. You can't have that, you've got to be ruthless. It doesn't, they're not your friends. They're not, none of them might be like, alright, off the pitch, now, but none of them are my friends. And they shouldn't be their friends either. So you, you need to go and be ruthless. And you need to basically make a statement to everybody else in the league that we mean, that we've we've turned up. We mean business. Yeah. So when we turn up, we can do things like that. So, uh, well, do you know what? We're we'll, we'll we'll all ready. So every, everything out. out. Yeah. Excuse that, sorry about that. Just going um, sorry about that. So, um, like I say, um, well, thank you for talking to us. Yeah, no it's disappointed to see you disappointed when you just smashed a team 6 2. Like you said, we're going to be sat here at 12 0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I get that mentality. I'm learning as well, I guess. Well, 6 2 and they're disappointed. But hey, cheers for talking to us, boys. Yeah, we'll see you there. next yeah, Saturday, Barton. Right. And um, please watch, like, subscribe, Ridtown TV. And we'll have Sam back with us next week as well. So I uh, hope you're enjoying the pool, Sam.